Now a Mend and Out update. Uh, we'll give you a little more information on this one because this one is, has been a little bit more fluid and you've been praying about this one and more things have been going on. So I've tried to incorporate some of the text messages that went back and forth and some of the phone calls and some of the emails, but this is actually a very abbreviated. Okay, so I, I don't know if you can see or not. We first, uh, okay, let me, I'm trying to go this way so that they can see. Can you look around me? Okay. Uh, we first heard, we knew that there were, there were rebels in Zamboanga, but we didn't know it was in mid Sayap. So really the first we heard about it was mo this past Monday evening when we got the text from Rena. Uh, and she said there was an ongoing exchange of gunfire between soldiers and Muslim re rebels. And at that point, soldiers had been killed, a few civilians and teachers had been taken hostage. And she says, I do believe God's in control. We appreciate if you pray for us and come boldly to the throne of God for our help in this very time of need. I love you all. So I immediately texted back, thanks so much for letting us know. We will pray, pray, pray. She says, I know God is in control. Thank you. And that's when we started sending out texts as much as possible and asking you to spread texts on to others. If you didn't get a text about it, I am so sorry. Uh, but I had what's up on my phone. And if you have what's up to me on the phone, then you got a text from me. And if you didn't, that's why. But we'd like to do a better job of, of, uh, of uh, getting information out. And then the next morning, uh, there was the, the real possibility that they would have to evacuate that night. And so they did... Uh, um, they did evacuate. Uh, the gunfire had ceased. The enemy had re retreated, um, but they, they came back very early. And we haven't, uh, we haven't told you everything. Then Tuesday morning, I called her as well, and we found out that they had come back very early to their house. She has some people staying in her house as well. And as they walked, as they came back to the house, then she and I think a niece were out on the road, and they saw a man dressed very str unusually, so they spoke to him and he didn't reply in any way. When she talked with others later, they said that was most likely a rebel. And so that was, on, that was out there early that morning. And so Rena said, thank you so much for praying because she really felt that God protected them in, specifically in that circumstance and in that situation. Because in fact, there were rebel tr rebels, uh, Muslim rebels that were going through the area. And some of you had heard already that in fact, there really were some atrocities, some terrible things that... Um, some of Elizabeth's relatives, it was her relatives, her husband's relatives that were, the, the man was decapitated and another nephew was shot and killed while he was taking care of the pigs. So it really was, it's a difficult situation. After we talked with her, Rena didn't ask for finances, but she had said it was in her heart that she wanted to, um, even she said, if I could even send, give some instant noodles to people because uh, people have not been able to work because of the situation. She said people just don't have food. They don't have enough to eat. And the soldiers and the citizens that were armed, that were in the outpost helping to guard, couldn't work either. So they didn't have food and their families didn't have food. So we sent, uh, uh, we sent an offering Tuesday and uh, Melrose got it remitted. And so by Tuesday afternoon she was able to get the offering and she uh, spent the whole offering. We sent 2,500 Hong Kong and she spent the whole offering on rice, instant noodles, and coffee. And then, um, then early Wednesday morning, Rena, uh, and then Pastor Brother Larry, Sister Elizabeth's husband, who also has a tricycle or motorcycle, um, he agreed to give, let his motorcycle be used, and then um, they bought supplies and divided it to share with the evacuees. So here are some of them. Uh, they got some things for the kids, but they got a lot of co they got a lot of coffee. And Rena said they really need coffee because they're trying to stay alert and they're trying to stay up to stay on guard. And so that's that's uh, that's why I, I kind of thought coffee. But she said yes, yes, they really need coffee. And then they put it in packs of rice, instant noodles, and coffee. At the same time, we really urged her to be very careful because with such supplies, she could in, she herself could in fact be a target for kidnap and ransom. That's very, very true. And so we cautioned her, and she did say, she said, I'm being very careful about it. Um, and there were, uh, wherever she went, the, uh, Pastor Larry was with her, as well as Pastor Bugas that we sponsored to the Tagaytay Thai Conference. So there were other men with them as well as they went. So these are some of the things. And then uh, we got uh, more news back from her. Again, more news than this, but we're giving you just the details. They were able to share the gospel and God's love through food and prayer. And then she said it was really in their hearts to visit an evacuation center in the Barangay Hall in the town that was very, very full and they were provided for by government relief funds.
but in there were other evacuation centers, especially where there were more Muslims in one of the elementary schools. And Rena said, in fact, because it was a Muslim area, she said, in fact, really there was quite, the government was not supplying them with food. And yet many of those families are innocent as well. Um, and they, they need food too. And she said there were many women and many children as well. And so they felt that they should go to the relief center there as well in the elementary school. And so they were able to, they were able to, to go there. There's even an imam there. And Pastor Bugas speaks some of the local, the, the Muslim, some of the Muslim dialects. So he was able to share a little bit. And then Rena was able to share uh, very, very briefly about we love you and God's lo God, the Lord loves you and we're here to show love and they, they were able to share some of the food so we were able they were able to give the next picture shows some of that I think this is in what this is in the uh, I think in the elementary school and they were sharing it's mostly Muslim mostly Muslim families this is Pastor Bugas here and then you can see Rena right there as well and so they also visited some of the outposts where they had armed the citizens um, because there were not enough soldiers in Midsaya. Most of them were in Zamboanga fighting the rebels there. And so the soldiers had armed many of the citizens. And they were at the outpost as well. And Rena said at one of the outposts they went to, they shared God's love and they shared food. And everybody in the outpost accepted the Lord. They prayed for them and they accepted the Lord. And so. And then they did go into some Muslim areas as well because they said, you know, this is an, we believe this is an opportunity to share God's love to the Muslims in this area. And so they did, they were able to go out. This is Pastor Bugas again and Sister Ren. And this is in one of the, one of the centers passing out the goods as well. And I think, okay, then Wednesday evening, uh, is that your husband, Elizabeth? can't tell we've got another picture in just a minute <laughs> she says I don't know but I have to tell you uh, sister Elizabeth was instrumental in getting messages back and forth because she had a roaming number and I have to tell you something it was her husband in the midst of this as well so she was frantic with worry and prayer and and Rena was laughing she said she said sometimes it's not easy for brother Larry to do things because sister Elizabeth keeps sending a text where are you now are you okay are you all right are you all right but in fact she was all right okay next slide please okay uh, Wednesday evening the alarm rang again and uh, the uh, and so at that time she said I can't talk anymore I have to go because the alarm has rung in fact one one of the evenings when I called her I said what is that and she said well I just went outside to check because everybody else was asleep and I heard the cannons again so um, they were waiting for the second alarm for evacuating the further areas and then and then the next morning you know we were really praying weren't we people were really praying and praise the Lord she said the next morning overnight nothing happened praise the Lord please let everyone know I slept well even though I heard lots of gunfire because I'm confident the Lord will keep me safe and I heard from some of you that in fact you prayed specifically that she would have peaceful sleep and that was an answer to prayer Amen. And then Thursday they went to the school. Uh, there were only a few students there, but one of the things she mentioned was she has really seen the children and even the small children are really learning how to pray and really pray to Jesus and say, Jesus, she said even some of the smallest children, when they hear the gunfire, they would say to their parents, pray to Jesus, pray to Jesus, make the gunfire go away. But she said it, 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 it is, it's touching their hearts. Um, the teachers were released unharmed unharmed her uncle's house was uh, really messed up and livestock killed but she herself her her home was her home was okay and then I think just one or two others uh, and a little more information brother Larry helped in the in the distribution she says they were a good team who helped to make all this these things happen and in the family so 61 families in the school who received relief goods mostly Muslim and 20 men guarding the posts and then uh, this was just a, a couple days ago she said she'll buy some candy today she's going to go back to the school and I really appreciated this this morning uh, she is going to take the kids that she teaches every Sunday and involve them in giving helping to give candy and biscuits so that they can experience the joy of helping others in a simple way Yay. Amen. <laughs> ah, confirmation from sister Elizabeth who is this, Sister Elizabeth? <laughs> My husband. A handsome young man. <laughs> but um, uh, in fact, uh, and this is uh, Sister Bugas, the, the wife. Uh, the wife of Pastor Buga. So there is a team there um, that are helping them. And praise the Lord, she said that the whole team working together was really such a blessing. It's very difficult if it's just Rena by herself. So we just wanted to 
thank you for your prayers. I'm asking for the Lord to give us three more years. She said she wants to reach so that she can reach the Muslim school, the areas where it's mostly Muslim kids. Um, and then happy 22nd anniversary. Lighthouse. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.